compound youth piped down dreams as the residents are in dire need amidst of their problems so far now moving on the ministry of health now says 50 percent of patients who seek for medical services in hospitals are mentally ill as Lavin Otieno now reports of the cases only one out of four is properly diagnosed and treated 50% of every patient that walks into any hospital seeking treatment suffer from depression, but only 4% of this entire population get proper diagnosis and eventually treated. A half of the people who go to hospital for any reason, not for mental problems, but for any reason, a half of them have depression. All those people with depression, only 4% of them had been diagnosed with depression. 4%. In 2019, a task force was constituted after the president declared mental health to be a crisis. However, since then, little has been achieved. Director of Mental Health Services, Simon Juguna, says that the government is planning to construct more mental institutions in Nairobi, introduce telephone medicine, train more health workers, in addition to the Kenya Mental Health Plan Act, to strengthen health system to ensure mental well-being. One thing we are doing, this hospital is going through a, a, a major innovation. There is even a plan to have another new hospital within Nairobi, at the Gome area. There is a lot of advanced stage in terms of... Uh, uh, the plants and uh, you know doing resource mobilization on that again we are also working on using technology as a way of kenyans uh, accessing services more to that we have more and more healthcare workers being trained on mental health these mother hospitals are teaching hospital i can tell you the numbers of the students who are enrolling for courses either as psychiatrists mental health nurses and psychologists has really increased. So we are having more and more health workers, people training in this area. As a ministry, we have been uh, working closely, I think, uh, in the department of NCDs. To, there have also been efforts to improve infrastructure uh, for mental health. Uh, that is why you are seeing a lot of uh, construction works going on around here. And I think in the near future, you'll be seeing more and more. Kenyans have been urged to come out and speak about the psychological problems to do away with the stigma which has become rampant within families, with majority even abandoning their patients at the Madari Teaching and Referral Mental Hospital. Because once you have a mental illness, we know there's the issue of the stigma and discrimination, which pushes you down. We call it the drift, uh, the social drift uh, uh, principle. To re reduce stigma around mental illnesses, and we need to encourage our communities to come out and speak and speak. The more we speak, the more we talk about it, the more we encourage one another to speak, the more it will become um, something that the community embraces. The neglect we show for these people who come here for help is the same neglect we show for the most vulnerable people in this country. We only care about the people we see out there. We only care about the best among ourselves and we show very little care for those among us who need the greatest help. To reduce health disparity that has been witnessed in the country, Nyangasi has recommended that private insurance companies equally cover physical and mental illnesses with Kenyans being urged to register for NHIF cover which is expected to cover mental health. To NHIF we will also be able to come up with a package which not only covers inpatient, but also covers outpatient. And this is within the agenda of the universal health coverage. So we'll ensure that once you have your NHIF card, you can access mental health service wherever you are. Lavin Atieno, TV 47.